Oh, you're a girl. Go. They thought I was one of the boys, right? Yeah, I was very tomboy and I was not good at all at public speaking. If you don't believe this is how I looked 20 years ago, I asked my mom yesterday to send me an old photo and to be sure that I got the message, she sent me two of those photos of the same kind. Thanks, mom. So yeah, this is how I looked 20 years ago. So believe it or not, yes, I spent that teen years in agony, especially because I lost my dad when I was very young. He, he was a very, he was a very animated guy. He was always very friendly to people. He was seen everywhere, but he was quiet when it comes to his health. So none of the family realized he had cancer until three months before his death. So it was a very short notice for me as the eldest in the family. My two younger brothers were seven and three. So we were very, very young. And when dad died, I didn't know about it. I kind of knew he was sick, but he didn't want to tell us what it is. And when it, the night he died, I was admitted in a hospital next door to him because of my own personal injury through an accident. I fell down from the second floor. Don't ask me why, but I fell down head first. So I had a minor coma, suffered a mild concussion, gagar otak, ringan. And I was admitted to the hospital for a week, basically, the same time my dad died. My mom didn't have the heart to tell me that dad passed away because she didn't want me to experience a further shock on top of my head injury. So for about a month, I didn't realize my dad died. I, I asked my mom, like, hey, how come we didn't visit dad at the hospital anymore? She said, oh, sorry, I'm a bit busy. So basically, I was the last person to know 